welcome back to my channel welcome back this is your girl mrs jbj what is happening what is going on welcome welcome and come on guys uh, what you waiting for go ahead and subscribe go ahead and like go ahead and share my video and while you're here if you're loving my content go ahead and drop me a comment so guys i have on this big ass t-shirt <laughs> And it's with a purpose. I am wait a minute. Okay. So I am supporting Cowboy Carter. I have to. So let's get right into it. I do not want to hold you guys up. Let's talk about Gerard Carmichael's new reality show on HBO. Y'all, that thing is juicy, it's raw, it's uncut. Um Mm, it's good it's good like i said it's on hbo um it comes out i think every friday and we're only like in the second episode um i think i'm gonna mash them together because yeah like gerard gerard you know i'm i'm, I'm always talking about like give it to me i want to i want it to be as real as possible tell it all but um some parts of this Gerard you could have kept to yourself but it is amazing I love it um it's entertaining trust me you would be captivated by it Gerard actually lives in New York it opens up with Gerard confessing his love to Tyler the creator and he is like on stage doing his comedy show and he was just telling the audience like yeah y'all I just told my best friend by text that I'm in love with him and he hasn't responded. And then they do a quick flash to Gerard's apartment in New York where him and Tyler, the creator, is hanging out, you know, just vibing out together. And, you know, they have their little cute moment together. Nothing intimate. And the reason why I'm saying that because Gerard as be all over the place. Do you hear me? He is gay and happy and proud, honey. And he ain't stopping or hiding nothing from nobody. Um, but it just shows them like vibing out. So when he tells us that he sent Tyler um a text message to tell him his true feelings of him, basically Tyler ghosted him. And so he's just confused, like, damn, he ain't gonna even respond. So he's all emotion, all in like fetal positions. Like, is he going to call me? You know, like, you know, when you in love with a boy and I'm t I'm saying it like he's a grown ass man. I'm a grown woman. But he was really telling this story like a kid. So that's what I'm going to say. So he was all like, oh, my God, he didn't call me. So he was talking to one of his best friends there in the car. And he was like waiting on Tyler to respond. Tyler doesn't respond. So we get that like in the first part of the episode. Um, Then, like I said, he is going to the Emmy. Um, I don't know who this guy is, but one of his friends, I don't know if it's his manager. I don't know if it's his PR person, but this white guy comes in and he's got a mask on he's in dis he wanted to be disguised he don't want y'all to know who he is I mean when he's covered the only thing showing is his hands and I'm like Gerard you so open and free on this reality show why did you agree to have this guy on here with you it's weird it's like Gerard is being honest and upfront, and then he got his friend who I think is his manager or his PR. And if they got a working relationship, what does his sexuality has to do with, with anything? But he did explain like, Gerard, you're exposing yourself, giving people the backstory of what's going on in your in your life, in your personal life, in your bed, which he does. So he's looking at Gerard like, oh my God, I can't believe you're giving these people access to your personal life. And just putting it all out there. But my point is, that's Gerard's story. What they got to do with you and why you in, why you don't want to show your face. This is his story. Yes, Gerard does all kind of shit in this reality show. But it still is his story. So I'm like, if he was my friend, I'm like, what you covering up for? You embarrassed to be my friend? I don't know. It's weird. Um, But yeah, he came in with a disguise. And he was basically telling Gerard, like... They're going to clip this and they're going to 
narrate it the way they want to do it and then it's not going to be your authentic self but I'm like if you there to support Gerard then why why are you hiding very weird um maybe we'll find out more about that um I didn't realize how many rich black gay men like white men like y'all don't like it, I don't know. We dealing black men. Are we dealing with some really self hate? When I tell you that, and I I have seen other people like recap Gerard's reality show, and a lot of gay guys were saying like that's a thing. Like successful black men love white men. And I'm like for real. Like, <laughs> oh my God. you know, we 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 kind of used to it with the black men, the straight the straight black men we kind of used to them you know want everything except a black woman but i just didn't realize that gay black men does the same thing so that was that was kind of shocking to me when i tell you he was like on grinder and he his whole profile showed nothing but white men i was like gerard you confessing your love to tyler the creator which is a black guy but all your sidekicks and the dudes that you want to hang out on ground they all white like the whole page was full of white guys but maybe it's that thing that maybe it's a lot of black gay guys I don't know is it maybe the gay guys that he's attracted to is not more I don't know but I didn't realize that successful black gay men was into white guys too like damn like, we must be dealing with a lot of self-hate. That's why I didn't want to listen to this album. I'm just feeling, like, pro-black. I just love us, y'all. And it's just, like, sometimes I'm like, why we don't love ourselves? Like, damn, Gerard, why you can't be dating a bunch of black guys? Give me black guys. Um. So, yeah. So, well, anyway. And the reason why I said that, because, honey, his jump-offs, he was in there sucking their toes. He was like completely making out. I'm like, okay, Gerard, living in your truth. So one of his friends from home comes in town, um, like during the Emmy week to get him prepared. And they're, you know, just hanging out. They're close. And she's also close with Gerard's mom. Um, there is some tension between Gerard and his mom which is going to play probably a big part of this documentary um because she does not agree with his lifestyle at all so they are really I think he said his whole family actually they just not down at all um but it seemed like they did film the documentary it shows his mom you know being disappointed in him and you know just really they're just trying to figure out this new normal for their relationship and they're figuring it out in front of the world on his reality show um so the friend comes in and was like maybe you should just call your mom and invite your mom and he was like you know what she is disappointed with my lifestyle but because it's the emmy and because I'm living this lifestyle, if I call her ass and tell her, she probably will show up and put on a mask and be just as happy and just pretend like I didn't win an Emmy because of my coming out story. And that happened so much. And I appreciate him saying that because I don't know what it is with our parents that just it's it's just so much shame and that's why I'm so proud of Gerard and I'm so proud of this reality show because um, like let that shame go y'all it don't do nothing but kill and destroy you and at the end of the day it's Gerard's story it's not his mom's story it's not his dad's story but I don't know why parents get so invested on how their kids choose to live their life you know, you just a vessel that they came through and you did your part. You know, you nurtured them, you love them. Um, you know, everything ain't perfect, but you teach them lessons. You guys learning to navigate this thing called life together. But at the end of the day, it's his life. So I don't understand why he got 
all these people around him that really is a shame of him and he's living out loud like i've been hiding forever i'm free my nigga and i and i feel that through the whole show like this is more to do with gerard than anybody like i've been hiding for years i'm living my truth right um so he's adamant about that and i love that about this show so tyler finally hit gerard up and was like let's talk about it you send me this text message to tell me you in love with me i ghosted you um you asked me to go to the emmys i we need to talk let's figure this out so like two days before the emmy or maybe a day before tyler comes to and i like tyler too like most guys especially black guys they wouldn't have came on that reality show are you kidding me to even address another black man saying hey i'm in love with you so kudos to tyler the creator because him and gerard are really close friends they are best friends like gerard fell in love with his best friend so his best friend shows up finally and he's like let's just talk about it right but tyler didn't and, you know tyler don't feed into what y'all think about him like the gay thing he's just not gonna feed into that think whatever you want to think it's my business and I kind of like that about him so he came in and Gerard asked him like man why didn't you respond why have you been ghosting me and he was like what did you want me to say and he was like Gerard was like say something he was like what do you want me to say like what do you want me to do yes you told me that you're in love with me and I think Tyler responded Tyler did respond but he responded like bitch shut the fuck up that's what that was his response and Gerard was like that could mean so many things and he's a jokester like but it wasn't direct so this conversation and this meetup was like let's address what I said and let's move on and get back on track with our friendship so Tyler is asking Gerard like man after you said I mean what do you want from me I can't give you anything because you're my brother and that shit is weird like you are my brother I do not want to have a relationship with you he was real honest about that and Gerard was like well this is what I wanted I said it I got it out and you told me that, hey, we're brothers. And I got to accept that. Now, Gerard was not happy, child. He went in all kind of fetal positions. He does this all the time. I don't know if it's one of those things like, oh, my God, I can't believe that I'm exposing myself. And he goes in this fetal position. I'm going to put some images up. But he's in therapy, y'all. He is in therapy. Um, But I think that it's maybe like a calming I don't know, but every time he's uncomfortable with stuff, even on stage, Gerard does that a lot. Um, so they order room service. Um, Tyler being Tyler, jokester playing, um, eating his food, honey, with his little painted nails, all dainty. Like, yeah, I'm here, best friend. Um, <laughs> and Gerard is sitting in the corner looking all like damn so you not in love with me so we not gonna be a couple and Tyler was like nah but you my brother and I still love you so they um so they talk about it so I thought that was dope I mean it may not be what Gerard wanted but you got to give Tyler credit for that and then we get into Emmy night so Gerard is hosting like a co-host for the Emmys um so he's getting ready his stylist is in this motherfucker got fucked up the whole time drinking taking shots he had his little side piece with him you know to get him a little boom boom before he left another white guy um i know y'all i'm so into black love i want black love so if i hate just a little bit it is black entertainment with miss jbj you know what i, I i'm like a man to see us i love us even if we don't love us um <laughs> but anyway um uh, just joking just joking y'all don't take me serious um this is for entertainment purposes only so gerard is getting fucked up taking mushrooms getting shots 
his weird ass friend. That's why I think this guy is his manager or his PR person, but he shows up to take Gerard um to the Emmys but he's in full disguise even getting ready at his apartment the shit is weird I wanted to look it up and like do he always do this or does he just not want to be on Gerard's Carmichael show I'm not sure um and then Gerard end up winning an Emmy and he goes straight to the stage um so he goes to the stage and he's just telling you know like showing everybody his Emmy and he talks about like I told you he's really upfront about his relationship with his mom and he was like damn my mom left me a message she congratulate me on winning my Emmy tonight um and then they do this little quick flash of her him listening to her voicemail and she was just like like I love you and I'm proud of you so that was dope and that was episode one I'm going to talk about episode two only because I don't think I'm going to do a recap on it because like I said, Gerard is living in his truth and I love it. Now, episode two, Gerard got a sex. No, Gerard just loves sex. I was going to say he, he has a sex addiction, but he don't. He just been in the closet for so freaking long. He don't want to hide and he want to do whatever the fuck he want to do it. Um, so episode two, um, I'm just going to go over episode two really quickly because I don't think I'm going to do, I may come in and do an episode. Like I said, when something is good, I'll do an episode, but I may not be committed to all seven of the episodes only because like this episode, for example, second episode, he's at a sex toy. He's dealing with damn balls and dinglings all over the place. He has a sidekick, which is a woman. I don't know if she's, tra- I don't know, and I'm not going to label her at all. But his friends, they are in sex stores. They are living a, all, just dinglings in ass cheeks all over the place, right? That's the opening. And he does talk about um, him finding new love. So he's in a relationship. Yes, it's a white guy. Yes, yes. So his new boyfriend and somebody that he's probably taking serious. I think they've been dating maybe like six months. Um, And he like told this guy, first guy he told that he loved and the guy loved him. But it's a long distance relationship. And Gerard sits there and cheat on this boy the whole episode. Yeah. So his new boyfriend... <laughs> You know, they do their thing. Um, and Gerard does this fetal thing. Gerard is a cuddler. Like, I love to be cuddled, so I get it. But he's so needy. Like, he was, like, hugging. I love people like that, by the way. Like, love on me. Hug on me. Let's cuddle all night. I'm that person. Um, And Gerard Carmichael is, too. So he just want to cuddle and you know, have chill night, fuck all night. That's what Gerard Carmichael wants to do. Um, And his boyfriend um, is the one that he feels most safe with. He cuddles with, you know, they read books together. He makes a whole joke about that. Um, But he cheats on the guy the whole episode, like just cheat on him. So when the boyfriend is not in town, Gerard is on Grindr finding another white boy to cheat on and then he goes and tell his boyfriend like oops I made a mistake um it shows them in therapy um Gerard loves sex he's so free he's so liberated and because he liked that everybody think he has a sex addiction I think the brother is glad to be out the closet and living his best life so I don't like cheating. I didn't like this episode. That's like, no, nah, Gerard, I ain't going down this road with you. I'll see you on episode three. But that really was episode two. He is really figuring things out, but he's a straight up cheater. He cheated on that boy so many times. They go to therapy and he's like, well, are you going to do it again? I don't care about the cheating. I just want you to be honest with you. this guy can't even have a straight face telling him he gonna be faithful and he just cheated on him oh episode two so that was episode two um I may come back for episode three when he goes home 
He's with his dad. He's with his mom. So I do want to see, you know, how that turns out. And, you know, so I'm going to be watching, but I'm just not sure if I'm going to do a recap on all of them. But that was episode one and two of the Gerard Carmichael show. You guys got to check it out. It is raw. It is uncut. But most importantly, Gerard is living in his truth. And I love it for him. I really do love it for him. So you guys, I have so much stuff on my channel, so much content. So before you leave, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and do the like and share my video. I do not care. And also leave a comment. Um, I am hoping to get to at least 30,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. So I'm going to be popping these videos out. And I'm just really enjoying creating these videos and talking about reality tv so yeah you guys just keep hanging in there with me and guess what i'll see you on the next episode peace even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran to the no man i still go go go